This is the video that some believe shows Ahmad Arbery walking into a home under construction. We only have a few seconds of it. He looks around and then walks out. Shortly after this, Arbery was stopped while running by Travis and Greg McMichael, where he was killed. News for Jack's IT reporter Kelly Wiley learned of other videos showing Ahmad Arbery on Thursday from the same attorney who released the video of the shooting. She tracked down the property owner to get the clip. We started to try to figure out how to get in touch with the property owner and if there really were these surveillance videos showing him at that construction property. And the owner tracked down numerous videos of what all appear to be the same man walking through this home as far back as October 2019. Here's a side-by-side -side of the final video of the site and the shooting video that happened that same day. The man in both appears to be in the same clothing, but so far News for Jax has yet to receive confirmation that this is Arbery in the home that day. We still haven't gotten confirmation from the GBI or from Ahmad's attorneys or the homeowner for that matter for who is actually in the videos. Now the question is whether it played a role in both the initial Glynn County investigation, where charges were not filed against the McMichaels, as well as the following GBI investigation, where felony murder charges were filed. When the GBI took over the case after a public outcry, they released this statement to News for Jax. We are indeed reviewing additional video footage and photographs as part of the active case. It is important to note that this footage was reviewed at the beginning of the GBI investigation and before the arrests of Gregory and Travis McMichael.